questions from uh, uh, blood grouping, uh, complete and codominance and things like that. These are straightforward. You do have to know other definitions would include things like what is overdominance, what is phenocopy. These are all part of the, the terminology. Um, what else is there? Uh, phenocopy. Uh, blood grouping, MN and uh, uh, questions like this. You're going to get questions, uh, and we, there are some on the practice quiz, and there are uh, some on the quizzes that we've done, the who's your daddy type, uh, where you know, you'll be given the parents and asked to determine who's, uh, who could be the biological child of whom, right? Um, so for example, or some uh, probability uh, linkage. Uh, mm -hmm. Jack is blood type of A. Uh, Julie is blood type B. Their first child, biological child, no other issue, uh, is blood type a. The firstborn is blood type A. Let me ask you this. Is this enough? Or let, let me put it to you in a multiple choice. Well, yeah, let's just save time and ask it uh, straight. <laughs> Given this scenario, the information is enough, true or false, to calculate all three genotypes? False. false. How many? Is that enough? Two of them, right? Which two? First of all, the fact that he's blood type A, right, narrows it down to either AA or AO. Okay? Which one is it? And why? It's got to be what? It's got to be AO. Why? Because Julie has to be... B-O, because there's no way that a child A can come from a B mother unless the B is accompanied with the O allele. So you've ruled out the AA, automatically making her B-O. You still can't tell if it's AA or AO. All you know is that he has an A to get. So I would have to give you other information. I would have to tell you he had, you know, an, uh, a B child, let's say. Let me... Uh, if, if Jack had a B child from another marriage, it's a soap opera type. Uh, he, had, he had a B child from another marriage. Is that enough to, t to determine his genotype? Yes. Yeah, just like we did here. So the fact now makes him AO. So now I can tell you what's the likelihood that they'll have two AB children in a row. Given all that we talked about, what's the probability that, uh, regardless of sex, uh, of the child, they'll have an AB child twice in a row? It's going to be 1 16th, right? Why? Because the probability of having one AB child is 25%. Do the, the Punnett square AB, AO, BO, OO. 25 times 25, 16%. 1 over 16. Other uh, type of questions from this one, you might get something like, uh, <coughs> can you see green in the back? No, Bombay is not going to be. 